A warning today that South Australian parents are facing increased fees for childcare and less places for their children because of federal government reforms. And a key industry group says the state government has ignored calls to soften the blow for families. For mother of three Kirsty Perriam, the spiralling costs of childcare are hitting home. It's something that's becoming more and more unattainable and it's making me question whether or not I want to go, I need to go back to work because there's nothing left over after paying. Changes to staffing ratios in centres came into effect on January 1st. They now need to have one staff member for five children between ages two and three rather than one for every ten. With increased staff comes increased costs of care. Centres already passing that on to parents, which could be as much as $28 more per day per child. It's a, not a matter of just saving up your gold coins to be able to just pay that extra. It's, yeah, it's every day, every, every week of the year. It's a lot. Industry bodies say their appeals to the state government to gradually phase in the staff changes over years have fallen on deaf ears. No amount of effort on our part and concern for parents and affordability has rocked the boat one bit with the government. We don't understand why. Don't forget there's a, there's a double whammy here because this will need um, hundreds of new uh, staff trained in early childhood development and this government's cut funding to uh, support a training. Claims too, centres are already turning enrolments away because they don't have enough staff to meet the new ratios. If they had a ratio of 1 to 10 and they had three staff, they could have 30 children in that age group. Now it's 15. The State Child Development Minister Susan Close says she expects the market to supply any new demand for places and that the funding of childcare is a Commonwealth matter. Rory McLaren, Nine News.